respect people. That's why you rarely find me working in Houston. I like the outskirts. Too much traffic. I like to be in and out. On to the next one. Too much window time in Houston. So I market the outskirts. I like the rural, urban, uh, suburbs. But every now and then we'll go get some of this money downtown too, so. But I'm heading to a neighborhood called Montrose. They got an alert on a Nest thermostat saying that it's not cooling. Or it's taking a long time to reset one. So we heading that way. We got a little window time, but we heading that way. Alright y'all, that's the famous turkey leg hut. And then line to get that turkey. Line wrapped around the corner. They uh plug and play. Okay. Yeah, they, yeah. They take they, they take a picture of your uh you know how it was and your wires and they they'll, they'll go back and they'll uh, exactly how it was. That's if you get nine times I tell you get the model series number they get the same board. And, 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 yeah, plug and play. You ain't got to do nothing else. You know they turn the power off and plug it up. Nah, nah. You ain't not no residential unit. Unless he got, I doubt he ain't got no high tech unit or nothing to do it. Like a, uh, yeah, no, nah, I doubt it was anything spectacular. I, I mean, in some of our commercial uh, applications, you know, we have to program it or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, that one now just, yeah, just plug and play. How y'all know it's the board? He got a friend, another African guy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm gonna record the equipment on it just for documentation. That one. Oh, this one right here? Okay, go ahead and turn it on. I just did, it just takes a little bit. Okay. All right. This is the upstairs, man. This is, is your the, neighbor. This is, no, this is actually the middle okay. floor, and this is the upstairs. All right. And even though this one's smaller, it's really, I think this is more powerful than that one. <laughs> Turn it on, but it's not going on. Yeah, it's not calling for it quite yet. Yeah, it's, it says delay, so. Okay. You can take that if you want to. Hmm. Your phone is ringing, right? No. no. Let's see what he's talking. The capacity and not the motor. Let's see if this one wants to come on. Okay. Yeah, 
It says delayed, so I know it has oh, yeah, to be one of those. That's fine. It'll get about a five minute delay. But uh, the good for these weeds, uh, for these condenser units, they need to add a brief. And, uh, I know, this is usually not this bad, but because yeah. they're doing yard work on yeah, this yeah, side, yeah. they haven't yeah. gone through here. Do you do routine maintenance on them? Yes. Okay. This was maybe washed or cleaned mm -hmm. yeah. maybe six months ago. Okay, great. It don't look too bad. I don't do it every year, but mm -hmm. I have been doing it. Okay. There it is. I think we need to do that. Seems like they would put this one on this side since it's close. Wait, would it make sense, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll pick all that up for a leave. Oh man, so the first thing I see right here, but I'm not gonna charge you for anything. Uh, you see that loose wire right there? Yeah, I can make that right there. That brown wire. You can take that loose, did you? No, I didn't touch but it. But that's for the fan. That's for the, how that's did that happen? Well, this loose connection. That's probably the only thing wrong with it. I'm gonna take the cap too, but. I didn't even touch it. You know, it's okay. not like. I didn't try to do anything. Uh, okay. I'll just I'll make sure. I just know from. He sees that you know if the capacitor breaks down, this is what happened. So that's why it was. Yeah. You know, I was assuming maybe this. Happened. We can do a quick test, but I want to check it just to see what the rating on it. But uh, I bet you that's the only thing. I mean, it, it was completely off. It was just hanging. Yeah. It fell down. But if I could, let's see here. It's already spinning. Huh? It spinned a little bit just now. Yeah. Well, it's rated for a five. You see, it's rated for a five, and I'm getting the five. You see that? You yeah. see it on the meter? I do. You see that five? So that capacitor is good. It's just this loose wire. Oh, wow. Man, I wish all my jobs were this easy. Well, let's see, man. Right? I guarantee. No, yeah. I it not it couldn't have worked no. without the wire. That's a guarantee. <laughs> Man. All right, so I'm gonna plug this oh, in. Yeah, well, let, let me put the uh, covers back on. I think this one has it right here. Mm. It's pretty dead, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Do you do all sorts of work with ACs? Oh, okay, yeah, we do everything pretty much. You know how much, and I know it would be very expensive. To basically move these units to the roof. To the roof? Yes. It's a, it's a, uh, I can take a look. Uh, it's, a, it's flat. Yes. And why you want to do that? Well. What, what, okay. I mean, we can definitely look. Uh, if it's Man. too too expensive, yeah, it's yeah. probably not worth this. That's why I'm saying, is it worth? Or did you want to make walkway through here? I did, but here? also, mm -hmm. these units are basically, they're not getting enough air, are they? Yeah, they're getting enough air, yeah. They're Most fine. units on the ground. Yeah. 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 They get plenty of air. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, no it, it's getting, it getting enough air. I mean, long, long as it's uh, it requirement, about six inches right here. Uh, yeah. This one here, this one, yeah, this one here, but, but trust me, man, I done seen some, uh, just say like some apartments, they'll be stacked up just like this. Like this unit here will be right, uh, right here. Uh -huh. And that's not good, but you got plenty of room. Right. Uh, but we can definitely quote you if you want to put them up there. We can get them up there some kind of way. Yeah. But you'll probably have to uh, go in the attic. <clears throat> like all, all the existing pipe, we'll, no, we'll probably just leave it. Just, there's no, there's no attic. Where, this where, has, has no attic. Right, where's the uh, the air handler, the furnace? It's in, in well, it's in two locations. It's mm -hmm. in the wall. Mm -hmm. It's in like a closet wall yeah. or a door. Yeah. Okay, so what we have to do is run pipe from there to the roof. Leave the pipe here. Just cut it. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Imagine. Cut all this, yeah. And, and then, but then we have to run, you have to get an electrician to run power up there. So you need these so two boxes right the here. The fact that it's so far, mm -hmm. that makes no difference. 
No. No. It, it right. makes a difference for us. It, it, it's, it's, it's just a charging difference. We, we have to charge it by a pressure temperature chart. Oh, I see. This, this far refrigerant. So if it's a shorter run, it's less, less amount of refrigerant. I get it. Right. Yeah. But it'll cool exactly the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you pretty much said there's no, don't, no possible attempt is moving this stuff on the roof. Unless I really want this. Unless you, right. if you, if you really want it, it can be done. Yeah, it definitely can be done. I mean, I'd rather not have them here, but I also rather not spend a ton of money. So there you go. Yeah, but you're looking at at least uh, ten grand. Get out of your way, sorry. Yeah, at least ten grand minimum. About five a piece just to move. So the reason I wanted to move, mm -hmm. it wasn't so that I could have this thing free. Mm -hmm. Actually, never mind. Maybe I have space. Uh, it's basically I, I it's, you know how we people are we getting like uh, loss of electricity. Uh huh. I actually lose electricity on a fairly regular basis here. This neighborhood, don't ask me why. So I was thinking maybe I could get a generator, mm -hmm. but they have a lot of my code. You can't just put them anywhere. Mm -hmm. right? They have to be outside of the house. They have to be outside of the window. They have to be outside of the doors. Okay. So the only place I could actually put it is here, but there's not enough space because there's a bunch of gas stuff over here. So this would be the spot. Now, but, but, but no, 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 no. What we'll do is just move this one right here on this side where it need to be anyway. Uh-huh. And that'll give you plenty of room, so. so. you got that disconnect right here. I can move this condenser and just there. set it right here. Kind of by that gas meter or over there somewhere, this closer. Yeah, right before that gas meter right there. Look, we can set this condenser right there and it'll be a lot cheaper, a lot easier. And even probably move this one right here, and that'll give you another what? Uh, probably enough. Yeah. I'm generating that. Uh, what, what square foot is that a house? 3,200. Yeah. I don't think it means that big of a generator. Well, the problem is to kick to the kick cut the AC. It can't be too small, right? Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. Uh, these are. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need at least a probably eleven thousand watt generator or something if, like that. If 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 I had to do it, maybe I would settle for something that just kicks one of these on instead of both. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I'm doing. I, I'm actually uh, I, I actually just bought me a a generator. Home Depot got some uh, what you call tri du uh, kind of like tri dual uh, refrigerator uh, generators where they go out natural gas. Yeah, you seen it? That's 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 kind of what I wish I could do. Yes. Yeah. And you hook it up to the gas line yes. and with that power box, yep. and it's a lot cheaper. Because you can do all that. Well, I'm doing it myself, I'm probably like $2,000. Wow, if you can, if you can you, because you yeah. can do all this yeah. stuff, you're a huge I'm, advantage. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not an electrician, so I'm not uh, licensed to do that. But I'm licensed to do you the know, refrigeration bit, right? work. Yeah, I'm a little something, something. But yeah, that's the way to go. But the thing about that, man, it's just so loud, though. And then you got your neighbors right here. And those other ones. <laughs> I think you think about the generator, though, huh? I mean, the, the I one that automatically switch on. I didn't even think about the neighbors. That's a problem, right? Well, that might be married to, I mean, as long as you got cool air one lights out, they probably understand. Yeah. Like, even uh, with, with mine, though, I mean, I'm putting them in my backyard. My neighbor's close to me also, but if everybody lights off, hey. Yeah, that's true. What can you do? You know? Did you lose power with the... Uh... With a freeze last year? Oh man, it was horrible. My kid at the time was six months old. Oh wow. I did not know what to do. Man, I, hey, ain't none of us know what to do. I've been through a lot of things, but that, that was rough, man. So if you wonder what I'm doing, man, I, I just do not remember pinching that wire to make sure it's uh, good and tight. I don't want to fall back down on you. Yeah, I did tighten it. I didn't think I'll put it back on there without doing it. And by the way, mm -hmm. I was counting on this being the external unit because the person who installed mm -hmm. the the inside unit made it so you can't access it without breaking the wall, which I will have to do at some point. Oh man! 
I didn't own the house at that point. And I just love a situation like that. And the, the guy that inspected the house didn't really tell me this was a problem, which was kind of weird, because mm. you know, now that I know it's a problem, it's obvious to me, but back then, I didn't know any better. All right, folks, so that was an easy call, loose wire. All right. Charging was a diagnostic fee. It actually nest gonna take care of that. So we on to the next one. All right.